Okay, hi, good morning, friends. And uh, I hope you're all fine and healthy. Okay, as nice as the weather is, it's a bit cloudy. And uh, we have a very nice setup here. But uh, as I showed, it's a bit windy. And I don't think the, uh, sorry. Okay, hi friends and good morning. Welcome to Word Wednesday. I pray you're all fine and healthy. Okay, and uh, the title or our message for today is actually a cliche, but it is the most powerful reason of our existence. It's because God loved us or God loves us. He sacrificed His only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to redeem us from the curse of sin. And uh, so, uh, surely, okay, and uh, by the authority of the Word of God, which is a sure foundation of our faith. Anyway, so... Uh, let's proceed with our message for today and i'd like to share about this uh, very interesting digital uh, development in our uh, in today's generation uh, particularly in connection with the covid 19. okay now there is a concerted effort by the political and economic big wigs of the europe zone about this uh, smartphone application that is uh, supposed to uh, monitor the medical condition of each person and of course uh, this system is uh, will not be limited to medical conditions or the information contained in this uh, smartphone application will eventually uh, cover other areas of, of an individual's life okay and so that is why these economic big weeks uh, political big weeks like Benetton and the uh, kids of uh, Italy's most powerful uh, businessmen and politician have invested millions and millions of euros into this uh, smartphone application application or system or program and this uh, system is actually very similar or related to the it's very windy very similar or related to the uh, model or the uh, system that was created by uh, the topmost IT consultant of uh, German Chancellor uh, Angela Merkel. Okay, so there seems to be a con concerted effort into creating this uh, monitoring application, which I'm sure will not be limited to an application smartphone, which is up close and personal monitoring of each individual. And we also have, we know the Big Brother uh, cameras, external sources, and we have our credit cards every time, or the digital coupon supermarkets every time we make a purchase. The barcodes of the products that we purchase contain the characteristics and the model of the products that we are uh, buying and that adds up to our personal data our preferences and these uh, uh, in general personal data are used in commercial purposes marketing purposes of course and also for political purposes to sway uh, the uh, sentiments or the opinions of people okay so that is why um, even Google and Amazon have invested millions and millions of uh, dollars or euros into data bank facilities which contain our personal data which are being collected uh, without our knowledge and um, 
with this personal data they are able the economic or political systems are able to make laws or decrees that may or that seem to curtail even now with COVID-19 they seem to curtail the uh, freedoms of businessmen even to minimize now the earnings of uh, uh, businessmen because with social distancing their commercial spaces can only accommodate minimum number of persons with an excuse of uh, uh, how do you call that avoiding the spread of COVID-19 so that is how very scary now the development and all this will lead to the uh, one world government and I, we know that behind all this uh, chaos or a concerted effort is the enemy of our souls the enemy of our Lord Jesus Christ okay so uh, why am I saying all these things? Okay, so, and I'd also like to add that uh, personal information, our personal information is now ranked the top most, most expensive commodity in the world. It is even more expensive than the crude oil. And that is why Amazon, uh, Google, and other uh, economic big weeks, moguls, or mag magnet, how to call it, they are investing millions and millions of uh, dollars, money into this new system, which will, and it will not be limited to our smartphone, like the one I'm using now. It will eventually be downsized, or uh, uh, how they call that, um, transformed into a chip implant that is able to fit into our physical internal body system so uh, it, now there are uh, pro how to call that proposals for plasters and we know that they use this chip implants already uh, ten, more than 10 years ago with uh, endangered species of animals and uh, we are sure that uh, with the view of a one world government, uh, this will eventually uh, be uh, activated or um, used, utilized. So why am I saying all these things? It is to give you a contrast of the heart of our Father. And uh, in fact, in, a in the book of Deuteronomy, he gave us the choice, the, the freedom to choose. Choose you this day, whether life or death. We have the freedom to choose. Okay, he does not uh, shove down into our throat this gift of salvation, this free gift of blessings. We have a freedom that is uh, inviolable and uh, how do you call that? Uh, from day one of creation, our Father in heaven uh, did not make us robots. He gave us the free will on how to we would live our lives. Okay, and so this is my invitation. If you would like to accept of your own volition, of your own uh, decision, your freedom of choice to accept this gift of salvation and start an intimate personal and start an intimate personal relationship with your father in heaven i invite you to click on the prayer of salvation and uh, find a bible believing or bible dissecting church evangelical christian church and uh, pray to god he is listening to you okay so thank you and uh, god bless you and god loves you and as a matter of fact or as a proof he sacrificed his only begotten son our lord jesus christ to redeem us from the curse of sin okay so thank you again god bless you and god loves you surely ciao